Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our our late game Factorio Space Age playthrough where we are, well I say late game, in some ways the game hasn't even started yet, but uh, no, we're, we're late game, we got fusion power running, feels pretty good, um, not that we needed it because we had plenty of nuclear already, but now we have another 400 megawatts available, and plenty of power cells to fuel it. So now our goal is to build a ship that is capable of getting to the solar system edge. And that is the victory screen for Factorio Space Age. There is the extended challenge of going towards the shattered planet. I believe some people have made it there. It's not easy. There's an absurd amount of asteroids you have to punch through to get there. Uh, I'm not exactly certain about a lot of how that works, but that's like extra bonus. And then also the obvious goal of getting more of everything is there. And then the obvious goal of legendary everything is there when it comes to quality. So there's lots of, of extra goals that the game gives you, which I like that those are extrinsic motivators rather than intrinsic, like I just want to make a bigger base. Now there's the goal of like, oh, I still have to make everything legendary. I still have to, you know, do my Glaba defenses in a way that they won't eventually get overrun. I have to, you know, I have to make foundation and bring that to every planet. There's lots of extra goals now that happen after the victory screen that are very much extrinsic. I don't know how many of those will actually pursue. I, I still think, um, I have to kind of, especially with the holidays and stuff, I'm like, okay, do I want to maybe take a little break after we win from Factorio and then we'll pursue Pyanodons after that? That's kind of the leading idea that I have. But, uh... Yes, there is another science pack. That's a good point. Um, and it's needed for only one research, is that right? Or do some of these turn into needing it after so many researches? Or is it just the one? I don't actually know. But the Prometheum science pack gives you more science for your science so you can science better while you science. Um, but yeah, so step number one is to make a new platform. This is going to be... Let's see, let me look at my... My Patreon list and see who's next. All right. That's still correct. Yeah, this is the active randomizer. Okay. All right, this is the Ascension. Ooh, what a what a perfect name. The SS Ascension. Thank you, Ascension, for supporting me. And we're going to make it over Navis here. And we will ascend to victory with this bad boy. Um, uh, Turidorol, I mostly am looking for little to no input. Um, like, there are some that... It, it's so hard to describe the level of backseating that you want as a streamer. There are some streamers that are just, like, hardcore, like, I don't want you to tell me anything, like... Even just having a suggestion or thought is backseating. I'm not that draconian about it. But there are also some streamers where it's like, oh yeah, just literally tell me how to play. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm not that level either. Like, I do have ideas about how I want to do things, and I'm not just looking for, like, tons and tons of suggestions. But there, there is a level of, like, okay, if I make a belt... You know, it, how do I describe it? Like, basically... If it's something that you know Crydax has already mastered and he just did it wrong because he's a dummy, that sort of thing I do want backseating on, right? Like if it's like, oh, I'm side loading onto a belt, but then later I'm thinking that that item is on the right side of the belt and so I'm doing this. Like that sort of thing I'm totally fine with people pointing out because that's something that like obviously I already kind of know what I'm doing I just did it wrong because you know things are hard and we all make mistakes kind of thing so like simple mistakes like that I don't mind help with at all 
Uh, I actually appreciate it. If it's more like, oh, you don't even know yet that that turret arrangement isn't gonna work because the asteroids are harder than you thought they'd be, that sort of thing feels a little bit spoilery and I don't want that sort of backseating, if, that, if that's helpful. Um, all right, so the ascension, we wanna pin this. I think these three, I'm probably gonna remove the pins just cause they're kind of annoying. I'll just come to the map view to get it. So I do think I want to at least start with, uh, it's gonna be ugly for a minute, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with this. And we're gonna go over to the Ascension and I'm gonna paste it, but then I'm gonna immediately remove this and I'm gonna take everything here, cut it, and put it down further. So it's gonna be longer. Then I'm gonna take this And, uh, no, 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 sorry. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna remove that so it'll let me put this next to itself. Okay, and then we will make adjustments. All right, this is this is at least a starting point. All right. So thing number, why is it not letting, it's not letting me scroll down because I don't have enough platform. That's kind of annoying. Um, that's an interesting Interesting thing. Uh, okay, so then... We'll move all the turrets that are in the middle out of here. Get rid of that part. Yeah, it's actually kind of annoying. I mean, I don't know if I'd call it a bug, but it certainly is something that would be a much better quality of life that like if you've blueprinted something and it's just not built yet, it would let the screen scroll move further. Because I have to zoom out to build down here. Okay, so the, the thing I'm trying to do right now is just fix the loop of ammo. Um, oh, hold on. Do I want... Yes, to red roll. I, I, that, yes, that's what I was just saying. I understand why it's doing it, but I'm saying it'd be nice if you blueprinted further out, if it would let you scroll the screen further out, because obviously you're interested in building a platform of that size. Um, so it would just be a nice feature if it didn't restrict that. Okay, so I'm gonna remove, I guess the guts of this one can all be removed because the guts are now on the left side. This is like a, it's not a Tuma, but this is this is the Tuma um, on the ship. Oh yeah, and then the undergrounds are gonna be too far apart, but that's fine. is good. Now, there's a couple issues here. Uh, the first one that I'd like to point out is there's no space for railguns. So, 
I am gonna stick with the double point design, regardless of how terrible it is, just because it's cool looking and I'm gonna stick with it. Um, so then the question becomes, how are we gonna deal with rail guns? And we will figure that out. Uh, let, let's first put railguns on the hotbar so we can see what they look like in terms of like firing radius and stuff. Yeah, because you got to get the diagonal ones and whatnot. It's double wide. Yes, this this is a double wide. I like that. Hmm. Now there's something that might be kind of annoying, is that the the angle, like I can't put one back here because it'll be blasting my own stuff. Okay, goodness. Ah. Do I have any quality modules here? I do. Okay, well, why don't we go to the rocket turret maker then? Of course, there's a speed module. Um, I need to remove that. Fine with those being master though. And then, oh my gosh, I have so many. Uh, that could have been rolling. Whatever, I'll make more. Um, and then I can at least have some uncommon rocket turrets. And uncommon rocket turrets, it's only a 10% though. Pretty low chance. I really wish I had better ones. Do I have recyclers? Yeah. So why don't we... Condition rocket turret greater than fifty. Put that over there. And then no, I'm not doing quality in that, because then I have to make a lot of other quality makers. Okay. We can at least get some longer range rocket turrets. Now here's another weirdness. We really want this <laughs> to be the thing we're requesting but instead it's requesting other things i've actually seen some people mention that you can um what's the word for it you can uh, like soft lock yourself sort of where like it's requested so many things that it can't request any foundation um so you don't want that to happen Okay, so railguns. Anyway, the point that I was trying to make a second ago is that like, if we wanted to do railguns here, they'd all have to be diagonal that way. Um, and then we don't have any, you know, facing forwards. So what I might do, maybe we clear out the leading edge and we design a new leading edge. So, and the other issue is that now we have three ammos to think about. And the question is, do I, do I ignore rocket turrets now? And only use rail guns and, um, I will double check the Factoriopedia that that's not going to cause some weird issues. Um... Because the hugers are, yeah, they're not different, except that they resist rockets too. And then they produce bigs, which then can be hit by rockets, but not turrets. And then the bigs produce mediums, which weirdly have more explosion resistance. That feels kind of random. Um, 
But then those can be hit by turrets, and then the turrets kill those, and then these won't damage your ship if they hit you, but also need to be killed by turrets. So the question, and this is one, you know, I'm not really looking for backseating on, but I'm wondering to myself right now, is is the amount of of me bigs small enough that if I have a lot of rail guns, you know, is that going to be fine? Or do I want to mix rail guns, rockets and turrets, you know, all, all the way down the line? Like, I think the obvious, like, perfect design mixes all three. But I'm like, if we just railgun the hell out of things, is that going to be good enough? And I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, what I am going to do is remove... <laughs> Og, yes, yes. Those who have already done this challenge, I'm sure, are going to have lots of, uh, lots of thoughts. So what I'm going to do is remove rocket turrets... And regular turrets... Also, don't forget asteroids. What? We're literally talking about asteroids right now. Uh, the current, so the the current bug, as in railguns don't shoot fast enough, is that actually still a problem? I saw a Reddit post about it that made it look pretty annoying. Um, okay, that's annoying. That's actually really frustrating because that totally changed it. Yeah, someone, I, I read the Reddit post, and this was now like a week or two ago, and someone was like, yeah, railguns only shoot like once every three seconds or something, even though the firing rate was like three or four times that. Um, and that's a huge difference. Oh, you mean don't forget asteroids as in like the chunks on belts. Yeah, that's already uh, on on the belt. <laughs> yeah, Waskily, I do get that. It, it, that's the sort of thing I don't mind being told, though, because it's like, it's an actual bug in the game. Like, if you were to assume that railguns worked as advertised, you would be playing the game properly, yet you would be punished for that, which is annoying. Hey! We got some stuff built. Um, Alright, I need inserters to also be removed from this equation for a minute. Okay. You know what would be easier than this is just blacklist, uh, what's it called? Platform? No. Oh, can you not? You can't blacklist tiles. Got it. That's actually really annoying. Um, it's in the tile list? Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm dumb. Forget I said anything. Forget I said anything. Alright. There we go. Okay, so first thing I want to do is... I could have done this so much more efficiently, but we're here now. <laughs> um, I'm going to just move the whole front of the ship up like... What? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I don't know. Just to give me a little more room to work with, with all this stuff. At that point, I could have just cut off the front of the ship and remade it. And then... Wait, what's going on here? Did I screw up the slope? I know I had to rebuild it a little bit because of the asteroid catchers, but I just want to... Make sure we're consistent here. Uh oh, 
What did I do? Okay, I think this slope is correct. So I'll just copy that and mirror it. But that's not really a concern. 31 from there, 131. Okay, yeah, that's that's right. I think. And then there's two, a gap of two there. And is there a gap of an even number here? No. So that means I have an odd number down the middle. Do I want that? Or wait, maybe maybe when I do this it'll. Still an odd number? No, there's an even number. Okay, that's what I thought there would be. All right. So there's that. Now, the question is... Well, I may end up needing... <laughs> I may end up needing this to not be this shape. No, I said I'd go with it. Let's maybe figure it out. I do kind of want three railguns in the front, though. I might have to budge a little bit on that. Oh. Are these... Oh, those are three wide? Ew. Uh, <laughs> sanity almost prevailed there. It did. That would have been a problem, wouldn't it? Sanity prevailing. Let's not have that. Ooh, these are terrible shapes, and I love it. Okay. What's the fun in sanity prevailing? I mean, can you can you honestly say that that's more fun? slightly concerned about hugers hitting the side so I might There's a couple issues here I think since I have four I think I'm gonna restrict asteroid chunks to be only on one side of the belt and that will allow me to put railgun bullets on the other side of that belt and then I can still survive with just two belts around the ring um, I can't angle these up if I stick them like a tile out yeah But the reason I was thinking about that is then I can just use the loop that I already have and then I can put railguns along the edge, wherever I'd like. Um, nice. There's so many things to think about here. Um, Not that I need a ton of cargo space, but we've got 
the ability to do it, so we will. All right, so let's think about grabby grabby because that's the the most restrictive and mm. We need to do something like this. And that. And we'll eat all the ones that come into the middle here. That should be a lot. do that. Okay. And then why not have one there? Okay. So that is going to give me some stuff. I'll need to put that stuff on a belt. And we'll need to connect. It actually is nice. Then the railgun ammo is the same belt as the asteroid collecting. So yeah, yeah, that continues to be a good idea. Okay, and currently a couple things we'll need to change to make sure stuff ends up on the same side of the belt. Like right here, I think is gonna screw that up. But we can fix that later. Right now, it's the inner belt that has asteroid chunks and it's the inner side of the inner belt. Okay. Got it. So the inner side of the inner belt. So then this is the belt that has the stuff. Why don't we snake that around in a way that works nicely? The inner side of the inner belt. So like that is what we're looking at. It's so weird. Diagonal things feel so weird in Factorio. Oh man. It's just, it's so wrong. It's so wrong. I guess I can do this and this. That. Yeah, wouldn't that be so annoying if you placed one, like you couldn't place the inserter here, but then you place it here and it can't go far enough. That would have been, that would have been frustrating. Okay, so then we feed the railguns, output the chunks. Yeah. And then I don't think I need anything else. Um So then I'll copy this. Belt's going to be perfectly backwards. I wish there was a way to reverse belt sections on a blueprint. I need I need a uh, blueprint paste tools that does that. I don't I think that's a good mod idea at least. Uh, 
All right. So there we go. There's our outer belt. Our, sorry, our inner belt. This one. And then that's joined up. Okay. So far, so good. So we've got railgun coverage. <sighs> now we're going to need lots of rockets. Lots of rockets. And I think we're going to use uncommon rocket turrets, especially now that we have less space. Um, ironic, since we're in space. But <laughs> I think, you know, if we look at this bad boy, you can see the different range amounts. Obviously, legendaries would be great, but wow. I mean, a legendary that's literally right here can cover like almost the entire ship. That's nuts. Um, but yeah, even just the uncommon boost is pretty significant. And so I think I want uncommons on this bad boy. And then like the ones that I'm putting here in the middle will still be able to hit stuff that's going to hit the other side. So that makes a big difference. Um, but, uh, maybe I just lay out the other belt first. And maybe we'll just follow. This one feels kind of pointless to go. Across. I can fit a gun turret in there? Yeah. Or if I just go straight across, I can fit a missile turret, because they're three by three. I think we should be able to fit enough rare gun turrets and uncommon missile turrets in here. That will be okay. I could put two in the middle due to unexplained game features. Oh, uh, do they have some sort of, like, they won't do incredibly stupid stuff, like... Uh, no, I don't, I don't really need that sort of help. I wouldn't... <laughs> I mean, it might be true that that would be fine, but I don't really... I don't really care. Um, Alright, so uncommon rocket turrets. Let's do... Three here, three here. That's already pretty good coverage. Um, and then there, there. Oh, I need to do the thing before I forget. Target priority thing. Uh, let's see. We've already done. We need to take the huges off the list, right? Now that I... Yeah, 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 yeah. Really only the bigs. I mean, I could... I could just use rockets to kill the mediums, too. But... There's that. Do another. One here. It's a lot of rocket turret coverage. Um. Yeah, it's, it's totally possible ship might go boom. That's totally fine. 
I mean, it's not fine, but you know, I'm I'm willing to load a save if I made some error. You know, yeah, just at this point, just let it happen. Whatever you guys are thinking. All right, that is already configured. The gun turret. So now we just need a good few of these. That one can have a long inserter. Uh, that one can have a long inserter plus an inserter. I can do maybe just a couple here to help with stray asteroids on the sides. Those can tackle ones in the front. So can these. Okay. Let's figure out the inserter situation for all that. Uh, okay, so you, 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 you. I don't know why I keep saying you. Uh, now we need to copy this. Minus the belts. And then flip it and paste it. Turrets can feed each other ammo? Yeah, wicked. It's great. It's great. Okay, uh, why are these taking five ever? The answer is because they said so. Let's change that. Let's change that. All right. Oh my goodness, what are we doing here? Uh, do we have, yeah, we do. Okay, yeah, we'll just bring this down. Um, we, we got the copper cable. We got the copper cable. Eh, that'll work. These don't do prod, right? Yeah. Still slower than I thought it would be. Uh, I guess it'll help when I... Epicify those. And then the steel. Yeah, this is fine. Now it's just an inserter problem. Which, if I really want to make it better, which I do, we can just do this and this. Alright, that should get me a bit more platform. Our rate was 15 a minute, and now our rate is 150 a minute. I wonder if that's sustainable. Probably not. But it should speed that process up a bit. Platform can be made in space, that's true. But you have to have a space platform to make a space platform. And we're still working on that, that part of things. All right, so double wide trailer is coming along nicely. I need to hydrate in real life. and then think about other things. Mm. Let's see, what else do we need to do? So, it's very possible that ammo production is now a bit under, under baked. Um, and that's supposed to destroy things. Uh, actually, I wanted that. Um, so we may we may have to improve ammo production. Certainly. And we need to actually create whatchamacallit? Railgun ammo production, which is gonna require steel explosives, which are on this belt. 
what did I just undo? No, that's fine. Um, I was trying to control X. Move that down. Because now we have explosives here. And... Wrong inserters on the inner gun turrets. Uh, which ones? The inner gun turrets. These all look fine. Maybe I'm missing something. Does anyone use the term meat space? Uh, no. Never heard the term. Nor am I interested in using that term. <laughs> Sounds like something HK47 would say in, in, uh, KOTOR. Alright. 25 second per railgun shot. That's not fast. So, railgun ammo. Explosives a piece. One explosive piece. Five steel, ten copper. So, really, what I want to do is probably make another two foundries. This one's going to make molten copper. This one, uh, maybe three foundries. Because then we're going to want steel and cable. And then I just want to bring the, you know, whatchamacallit, over here. The explosives. And then we can just basically direct feed those guys, put the explosives in, and then speed it all to heck, and hope for the best. Five seconds is a really long time. I might want more than one. I think I'm gonna want more than one. So instead, we'll do something like this. And then make ammo along that. And then grab the explosives from, you know, some other belt. Alright, um... And then this leaves room for more cargo bay expansion, if we ever want such a thing. And then... Molten Iron. This is Calcite, I think. Hmm. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Uh, where the heck is Calcite? And we did do that thing. I don't know if you guys remember, but we sort of set this up so I can already handle copper, uh, which is good because I now need to. Um, so the metallic chunks are already being sorted out, and then we wanted to put... How did I do it? We moved the thing onto the other side of the belt. So this is all going to be on the on the outside of the belt. So we need to move copper to the inside of the belt. Like so. So. And then now copper's on the inside of the belt. And then over here, we need to change this to four copper and four iron. Uh, I kind of remember how this works. This was only like a few days ago in real life, and yeah, I kind of already forgot. Um, yeah, but we wanted to measure a few tiles further down the line, so I should probably measure this tile. And not, this one just doesn't do anything, but this one's measuring. And if that one's got four and four, then we will red output to there. Yes, 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 yes. Aha. Okay, so then this has copper and iron on it, and then currently that's being side-loaded, which is a problem. So we want all the copper to go left. Hey, 
Hey, Cornelim. I'm glad you're here live. Yeah, glad you could catch it. Is your nose running? You better go catch it. Um, <laughs> stupid jokes. But, yeah, it's always fun when, like, people, you know, that are normally only able to catch the recordings make it to a live stream. I do feel like I could do this better, but it's already set up, so it's hard to argue to change it at this point. But, yeah, this is the priority for uh, iron or plus calcite. Ah, yes, this has the calcite on it. So then I'm going to have the copper go straight across and then the calcite and do this. I should say iron and calcite. And then we're going to have calcite on this guy too. So we'll make that a little bit here. So then that's calcite to both. Uh, iron to there, copper to there, molten, copper, bada, 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 bada. Perfect. Um, and then... Can we do? No, can't do prod there. I don't know. We're getting there. We can always add more. We'll start with two. Maybe, uh, yeah, three's easy because then you can easily do. Um, I need efficiency. think I do I because what's interesting is that a speed module is inefficient at first right you're getting because you're consuming more than you're producing extra but by the time you get to epic you're actually improving the power efficiency of the assembler it's true it consumes a lot more power um, but especially when you're not mixing with prod modules I don't actually think this is gonna increase power consumption all that much um, and we've also got the epic assembler, which is already more power efficient. Or wait, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. The epics are just better. Um, anyway. Okay, so there's railgun shells. I can expand it downwards if needed, and then we will stack insert that output. And that will go over to here. That's weird that that doesn't connect because it's not a real one. Um, and that's on the bottom, which is the right side, which is what we want to merge with right here. And we want to input priority right. Okay. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, this is the trash belt. So stuff that's here. We want to bring this across and trash it. Again, I have no idea how far that can go. Um, I could bring fusion up here. That's certainly true as well. Oh, Glaba. Medium stomper. Uh, how many uncommon rocket turrets do I have now? I have 20 compared to how many in total I have. In total, I have 116, so it's still going to be a while before I can upgrade the whole shebang. But... Uh, on Navis, what about that answer? I have 18 uncommon rocket turrets. Because I'm making them here to... Okay, I'm gonna upgrade these modules, first of all. And second, we're gonna keep going. 300, I need more uncommons here. And a few rares, I, I might as well send them up, I guess. There's a couple places I could put rares where they'd have a little bit more range, but that's not that big of a deal. All right, back to the Ascension. So the Ascension is working on getting all the stuff we need ever so slowly. 
let's first get all of our asteroids on the same side of the belt. So I think we're good on all the new collectors. I think all the old collectors are good too. So it's only other things that interact with asteroid counts. Um, yeah, those are all putting on the inner side of the belt. And those are on the outer side of the belt. Yeah, so it's gonna be this area that's doing it wrong. Because these things, which re are the reprocessors, are putting back onto the wrong side of the belt. So we fix that by doing what? It's kind of funny, like, we can't easily fix that. So instead, we move this whole setup to a different part of the ship where we have more space, like right here. Um, and then... I don't even know what's what's the simplest way to do this. This. That, I guess. Way to do it. Just side load onto the correct part of the belt. Um, and then I actually think I want one of these on the other side too. Because this is the reprocessing that makes sure we have. No, I think, well, we'll see. Why, why not do another one? That's the better question. Why not? Um, why not? After all, why should it die? So then we do that. That's right. It's really weird how the, the undergroundies don't work right in this setting. I don't actually know what the distance is. Um, so anyway, so that'll get me a second reprocessing. And then what I also wanted to do is a second one of these on the other side, because it's such a wide ship. I definitely want this one here because this is the first. Heck, I could even do another one. I could dump out the front, which is kind of weird, but maybe I should. But basically, if I have too many of a certain type, I want to be able to dump. Dumpage. Maybe I'll just do that here. Or maybe we'll dumpage before the reprocessor. Wait, what am I doing? That's already correct. What am I doing? All right. The ideas are solid. There's still some disconnected beltage here that we need to fix. Uh, the ammo production is definitely busted. was working nicer the way I had it before, I guess, than what it is now. Though, a world where this is almost elegant. Elegante. Um, because we can still feed that, and then the ammo... It's here. Um, and then that gets my ammo belt. That's this belt right here. So then we have rockets and bullets. Bada bing, bada boom. Belt, which is 
broken in terms of like the undergrounds and stuff. That should be connected there. Uh, I could totally do piercing rounds. I don't think it's it's more of a necessity question than a practicality question. They're just as practical as anything else. They're a little more expensive, but if with foundries, I feel like the I have more than enough. What did I do over here? With foundries, I have more than enough metals, so it's it's more just a simplicity thing. All right. This is coming together. Um, still got a long way to go. In a short time to get there. No, we've got all the time. There's plenty of uncommon rocket turrets. What is happening with... All these requests. 2.8k space platform. That's ridiculous. Um, so it does seem like we're still getting things delivered. The the rare thrusters are going to be a problem. And the rare gun turrets. Uh, let's see. Gun turrets. I guess we need to change this till we get 30 rares. Let's let that let that cook for a while. We probably have all of our rares up on the synthus. How many do you have? We could send them back down if it's a lot. We have 10. Yeah. Send those down, send down those guys. Is there anything else? Pressures. Anything else we might need to share? That is not cheap. Or easy to make. I think everything else is fine. Okay. So Oh. It wasn't... Oh, really? You can't take these out now? No. Oh, okay. Th you can shift click them. Okay. I was like, that would be so dumb. <laughs> if you couldn't if you couldn't remove those. Okay, I need to uh, remember to do that when it heads back to Nalvis the next time. Alright, so anyway, for power... I'm going to change that to not be a stack inserter, because I think that was just kind of absurd to have stacked uranium cells. All this setup should still work pretty well. I was pretty happy with that. That's a lot of thruster fuel. Um, it should be enough for all of this, to be honest. And... We'll have to connect that. Optimal speed, the least amount of total asteroid damage is done. Do you mean damage to asteroids or asteroids damaging you? Because uh, those are different questions. Oh, I might need more. Do we have enough rares of those, I wonder? Those rarefied. <laughs> hey, things are happening. Starting to. Ooh! We got our first railguns ready to go! Oh, yeah. This is. This is gonna be. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Alright. Um. Let's see. I don't even know. This could be, like, nowhere near enough railgun coverage, but. It seems like a good start. I probably do want 
I do want one facing out to cover side threats, because sometimes they're like drifting in a little bit sideways, so I probably want one or two along the side. Um, and I want to factor that in. We'll just do this. Feed that in. And then maybe I'll do a second one over here. It's technically possible that one could come in from that way while we're moving, but it's it's not very, not very likely. spot I'm doing something else in but close enough all right so now the sides are covered um all right let's get the thruster whatever you call this stuff the orange juice I really I'm gonna have to copy this blueprint to know the underground distance which is really weird to me um, but there's that for the orange juice and then this is for the I'll put it there blue juice the first time but then you click it again and it doesn't do that right it doesn't un re underground the second piece uh and then we do wait a second which one is that that's the orange that's the oj so the oj just needs to connect to there actually it's fine don't forget to heat pipe everything <laughs> yeah yeah for sure connected. We still got missile and gun coverage around the edges, which is fine. Oh, you know what we need to do is set the cube priority. Ignore unlisted targets. Fighters. Don't believe they exist. Behemoths of unusual size. I don't believe they exist. Let me check on the rare thrusters and power solutions. So, yeah, yeah, that's gonna need to cook a little while longer to get to 10 rare steam turbines. Um, I might even, is it worth, it might be worth grabbing a bunch of these. better chances at rares. Alright, uh, and then the rare heat exchangers, we only needed five, right? Yes. 
It is true. The the diagonal railguns do make it pretty easy to load load ammo into. Okay, we're getting there, even with the absurd amount of platform that we've got going on here. I could like delete all that platform if I redid. Because undergrounds can go over a gap, right? Or can they not? I guess I don't know. Did they did they make that possible or impossible? Ah, they can't. Okay, never mind. Otherwise, we could have taken out a huge chunk here uh, to save on platform cost. Let's be honest. We're not we're not going efficient for platform cost. I think I've already mentioned this, but just in case you guys don't know, the weight of your platform is almost irrelevant. Uh, that's not literally true, uh, but it's effective. In most cases, most people will be best off if they do not even consider weight to matter. Uh, the reason is there's a, a flat overhead of 10,000 tons that's being added onto this number for the calculation. So having the weight be 1,000 tons versus 2,000 tons, that's kind of the same thing. It, like 2,000 tons will be a little bit slower, but it's like barely. So it's really not gonna matter too much. You don't need to be sitting here like, ooh, I could remove these tiles. That will save me some weight and make me go faster. Again, that is technically true, like min-maxing wise, but it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be worth it in most cases. Uh, we're gonna set our base velocity to 20. Just take it real slow. <laughs> uh, no, I should actually probably have that be like 100 or something to start. Because we're going to start by going between planets to get everything spun up. Um, but... but... Yeah, at this point, we're still waiting on platform. I mean, if anything, I should remove some platform just to make it build faster. But then it won't be symmetrical, so let's not do that. Can you write 0.1k for 100? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the width is the is the primary thing that matters. And even even thrusters like have very serious diminishing returns. So like doubling your thrusters doesn't double your speed. I be I think. Wait. Now I can't remember. I thought that was true. Oh my gosh. All right, how are we doing on uncommon rocket turrets now? I've only got 28. Dear goodness, it's going to take five ever. But I guess we could upgrade some. At least we are getting attacked from the same direction pretty often. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Common to uncommon. Um, upgrade those nine. Upgrade four right there. I think this spot was getting attacked. Upgrade four right there. It'll slightly help. Lasers aren't improving your defense. Yeah, they are. Maybe not by a lot, but it's just actually inaccurate to say they're not. Uh, the, uh, those extra five lasers might deal just enough damage to reduce the number of rockets that needs to hit a pentapod by one rocket. And then at that point, you know, it might die before it gets one more stomp off. You know, it all adds up. It all adds up. Okay. I am going to do the thruster thing. I mean, I don't think that's a perspective. That's just reality. The more damage you throw at something, the faster it will die. That is, that is an accurate statement. I don't think, um, like, it is fair to ask, like, is it actually going to matter? Especially because rocket turrets are dealing the damage. In this case, it, there is a mathematical amount of lasers that won't matter because it won't reduce the health by one rocket worth, and rockets are the main things killing them. So, like, that's a very reasonable question to ask, is, is do you have enough lasers where it does one rocket's worth of damage? Uh, 
And I don't know exactly where that is. So it is technically possible that I didn't add enough for it to matter. But if I added even more and more and more, eventually it is going to matter. Uh, it's not, not up for debate. Damage equals kills eventually. And they don't have laser immunity. Like, I'm wondering if... Like, I've actually wondered if I just made a wall of lasers, like we're talking, you know, like a wall wall, like four or five thick, like that. Like, would that just take out pentapods already, you know? Because we're talking an absurd amount of, of damage that would come from that. That might actually be more effective than rocket turrets even. Yeah, there is the overkill problem. Um, that is true. Like, once enough rockets are on the way, the lasers will stop shooting, I think. I know other rockets will stop shooting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what all the best answers are to that. I think the best answer is the lightning turrets that I've been too lazy to build. That's the real best answer. I have seven rare heat exchangers. I only needed five. already all done. Okay, how many did I end up with? I have only four. Sad. Let me improve this a little bit. Ooh, this is maybe a good time for my legendaries, actually. A little bit of extra quality. Let me go grab the rest of my legendaries. When did Behemoth showing up? Uh start showing up. They already are. Oh, do you mean on Gleba? Gleba doesn't have behemoths. Gleba has larges as the biggest. But those are showing up at some level of pollution. I don't remember. So. Yeah, that the, the optimal thing would be the light. There we go. 24.8% chance, which means the chance to get a rare is flat out 2.5% or something. 2.4%. There's a mod that adds behemoth enemies to Gleba. That does sound a bit scary. That sounds a bit scary. Take a while. Um, okay, so I think we're probably wrapping up this episode. We've got this stuff running. We need power, but we're not quite there. We need the heat exchangers. I'm gonna need to do some of the manual requesting, like the heat exchanger. I only want five rares, which is a minimum payload issue. And Gun turrets are going to be the same thing. Minimum payload 30. And then... The rest of it seems to be space platform related. And prod 3s. Are we still making prod 3s pretty effectively? Oh, oh, we've got a prod two issue. Oh, we've got a blue circuit issue. All right, all right, all right. Um, because we don't have enough greens. Am I missing something here? Oh, the splitter. Be priority right. No, because then it won't feed stuff to the left. Uh, I need to do this. Because um, we have enough green circuits on the other lane, so we don't want to steal from that lane. But the red circuits we do need from that lane. We'll do it this way instead. I 
guess we just don't have enough green circuits on one entire belt. Oh, never mind. I'll just let that go half and half. Hope for the best. Um, that's so crazy. I wonder how many green circuits we're consuming. Whoa! 10,000 a minute! Nice! That's a big number. What's crazy is it's not even that big of a number. Like, Space Age just makes numbers huge. Uh, am I gonna do nuclear fuel reprocessing on the ship? Uh, maybe. Maybe. It depends. Given, given how long 50 fuel cells lasts, it's kind of hard to argue that I should do such a thing. What I might do is get a few more free blue chips. I'm also spending a decent amount of blue chips right now on just straight up rockets. Oh, you know what? That's where most of them are going is just to buildings building. Is that right? No, none of these require blue chips. The thrusters require a few, I guess, but that's pretty slow. Who who really knows where they're going? I don't know why I click on it. We want the ascension. Same letter, I guess. Okay, so turrets. I was on the way? I swear I saw available on planet was a lot more than zero a second ago. There were rare turrets. Am I making this up? They already. No, definitely haven't gotten any yet. Um, what is going on with the turret situation? Shoo. They're going somewhere. This only has uncommons in it. There would be at least a rare or two. But where have they ended up? They're not in the network. Did we send 30? But if we had sent 30, they would be in the ship. Maybe because of that restriction that I just cleared, I never actually made any gun turrets. Ah, that's what it was. Yeah, okay. That restriction I just had that I cleared on this one was that uncommons are less than 100, and I think I was basically at 100 already. So I just didn't actually make any. So we're still very far away from making that many rares. Fun. Um, hmm... Oh my gosh, this is making the gears for it? Hold on. We can feed the gears from there. That will be a bit better. And then we can make this an epic. And then maybe we can do some legendaries. How many more do I have? I do have four more. Perfect. All right, we'll use those for the time being. What can you do to prepare prepare for behemoths? Um, on Navis, it's really just laser turrets work fine. I mean, granted, they're not perfect, but I have a literally 100% laser defense, and I've been fine. 
Um, they do get damaged. Flamethrowers certainly are more efficient. It's certainly more efficient to mix flamethrowers and lasers and dragon's teeth. I, but if your goal is just good enough, then laser turrets are it. Obviously, you need to make sure your power doesn't go out. But, uh, yeah. All right, uh, what's the problem here? You've got... No problems there, actually. Oh, okay. We did it! Hey! All right, that's a perfect place to call this an episode. We will resume uh, in the next episode, finishing up our SS Ascension, which is meant to get to the solar system edge. And uh, yeah, as always, for those of you from future YouTube, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode.